Hi everyone, welcome back to Electronics Speak. I am Ajay. So I'm back with another great opportunity for the VLSI engineer. So Qualcomm is hiring for the post of Hardware Associate Engineer. And the salary here you can expect in between 10 to 16 LPA. And it may vary depending upon your interview. Talking about the job location, the job location is going to be Bangalore and Chennai. So these two are the location. Okay, so who can apply for this application? So if you are from BEB Tech in Electrical Electronics, and computer science then you guys can easily apply for this application so talking about the skills required by the companies here they need a candidate who have a good knowledge of Verilog or VSDL or C, C++ programming languages and TCL Perl scripting languages and if you have the knowledge of RTL design and have a strong OOPS knowledge then you guys can easily apply for this application so these are the key skills required the first one is Verilog VSDL so Verilog you guys can easily learn from YouTube so there are many YouTube channels plus uh, you guys can find it out in the NPTEL lectures so there will be an NPTEL lecture which I have already told in my previous videos like how you can learn the Verilog for free of course you guys can check it out link will be in the i button from there you guys can easily access that uh, video and TCL and Perl also you guys can learn for free that is also I've created a dedicated video on that like how you can learn TCL and Perl scripting languages like if you are going for the VLSI field then you should have these uh, skills like Verilog is very important TCL and Perl is very important for the scripting purpose and other than that uh, C and C++ are the basic concept which is required any uh, VLSI or the embedded jobs so you should have this skill set if you are planning to get into the hardware domain or the semiconductor domain and other than that you should also have the knowledge of the protocols like SPI protocols, UART protocol, I2C protocols if you have this skill set then it will give an edge over the other candidate who do not have these skill sets and it will be plus if you have the knowledge of a CMOS, ADC or DAC that is analog to digital converter or digital to analog converter so these are the basic key skills requirement by the Qualcomm if you have this skill set then you guys can easily apply for this application and the chance of getting shortlist will be higher as well okay so you guys can easily apply for the Qualcomm the link will be in the description as well as in the comment section from there you guys can easily apply so once you click on the link given in the description or the comment section you will be directed to the official website of electronicsgeek.com here you will get all the details related to the Qualcomm hiring so you guys can read it out and when you scroll down here you will get how to apply for Qualcomm and here you will get the apply link just click on click here to apply to apply for this position and for more updates you guys can also join our telegram group and whatsapp group where we also do a weekly q a session where you guys can ask your doubt related to the electronics electrical communication department uh, networking cyber security the link will be in the description from there you guys can easily join our telegram group and whatsapp group okay so let's see how you can fill out this application form for the Qualcomm. so just click on click here to apply so you will be directed to the official website now here just click on apply now first you need to upload your resume just click on select file click on submit so now the application form will appear now here the basic deal will automatically get filled through your resume like your name and all and here when you scroll down here you will get some questions like previous work questions so if you do not have any work experience so you guys can leave as it is it's not mandatory next is gender here you need to select your gender and here position specific questions so i am applying for a uh, position outside united states only next just select yes now you scroll down and click on i consent and click on submit application so your application will get successfully submitted and if you get shortlist then you will receive the further mail from the company so make sure you should add those skills which is required by the companies in your resume so that the chance of your resume to get shortlist will be higher and if you find any difficulties while filling out the application form or if you had any other question related to job career do let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video till then take care stay safe all the best and keep applying for the job